Options investing can multiply your money, but can also be like a weapon of financial destruction. Hey, Bowtie Nation, we've talked about some amazing options investments on the channel here before, like on October 11th, setting up a call spread on the US dollar bear fund for 44 cents a share. Just eight weeks later, I closed up that call spread for 81 cents each, a return of 84% in less than two months. That is the power of options trading to leverage up your returns, but it can be so much more than that. In this video, I'm gonna reveal my three top options trading strategies for 2024 and not only increase your returns, but also reduce risk and one strategy that can help you get your money back on a losing stock. I'm going to explain each strategy, how to set it up and when to use it. But if you need those options basics, how to get started on all this, check out the video I'll link to in the description below. Everything you need to get started investing in options. Our first option strategy here, the call back spread, is one of my favorite bullish strategies with unlimited upside and limited downside. Now you can see here in this payoff diagram, depending on how you set this up, you can book unlimited upside returns if the stock moves higher, while also limiting your downside to near zero if it falls. I'm going to walk you through an example here, but you set this up selling a call option in a stock with a strike price that's below the current strike stock price. So in the money or ITM, that's where the strike price is below the current stock price. And the same time, at the same time, you're buying two call options with a strike price above the current stock price or out of the money or OTM. So I'll use shares of Apple as an example here. With a stock just under $195 a share while I'm recording this, let's say I think news is going to come out that's going to send this stock much higher over the next month. I can go here to the options available expiring January 19th, which is just about over a month from now. And we see on the left side here, the strike prices for each call option. That's the price That's the price at which I can buy Apple stock. Okay, So if I buy these call options, I am buying the right to buy Apple shares for these prices for 185, 190, 195, and so on. Now next to these, we see the bid and ask prices. And here this column, this last, is the premium each call option is trading for. So how much investors are paying to buy these options to be able to have the right to buy Apple shares for 185, 190, $195 per share. And here we can see I can sell the $190 strike price call option and collect $8.27 a share here. I'm gonna use that to buy two of the $200 strike options. Okay, for $2.55 each here, it's about $5.10 for both of those. So what I'm actually doing here, so I'm selling that $190 strike call option. I'm gonna get $8.27 for that. Then I'm buying two of the two dollars or two of the $200 strike options. I'm, I'm, I'm spending $5.10 for both of those, right? So I'm actually collecting a net $3.17 a share for this trade. I'm receiving that cash. And here, using my option strategy calculator, we can see how this works for that limited downside and really solid upside on a stock. Now, folks, whenever you use these multi-option strategies, it is critically important to think through what is happening with each option to, to understand what's going on here. Now, I've sold that in the money call option at the $190 strike price. So I collect, again, I collect that $8.27 a share, but I have to sell the shares for that price if they're above that at expiration. Now, I've used some of that money to buy the two call options at $200 strike. So if the price of Apple jumps higher above that, which I think it will do, one of these two options cancels out my sold $190 strike option, right? So I've, I've bought those two call options for $200. One of those is going to cancel out the one that I sold for a $190 option, and the other one is going to keep on making money. That's the beauty of this. Since I collected a net $3.17 per share, then if that price of Apple falls below $190 each, then all the options expire worthless, and I keep that money, $3.17 a share. That's why you see I make money from $190 all the way down on that share price on the left of the chart. Now, of course, no option strategy is totally riskless. So I do have that range here between about $193 and $206 per share for Apple, where I am paying out on that short $190 call. So if Apple shares are above $190, I've already sold the investor the right to buy them at $190. So I'm going to be losing money on those options. But but until you get up to that $200 uh, calls, then I'm going to be I'm not going to be collecting anything on that. I'm not collecting enough up to $206 to to offset those $190 calls to make up the money I'm losing. But Look what happens as the price of Apple rises. My upside return is unlimited. 
that's a solid risk return trade off to have that narrow range of potential losses in exchange for this kind of upside. Nation, I know all these numbers are probably circling in your head. It can seem very confusing at first, but you can see why it pays to spend a little, little time to understand these option strategies, getting that ability to limit your downside risk and make a lot more money. Oh, we still got two more option strategies to highlight, but if you are one of the one in five Americans with a forgotten 401k at an old employer, you need to know about today's sponsor, Weeble. That's 29 million 401k accounts just sitting with old employers and at an average balance of $55,000, that is $1.6 trillion losing money to higher fees that might not be right for your goals. Weeble makes it easy to transfer your old 401k plans or even IRAs from other brokerages with a $75 transfer reimbursement and a cash bonus up to $18,000 depending on your account. You can open a traditional or Roth IRA or a rollover an existing IRA all self-directed options that you can use to invest the money yourself. Weeble also offers managed IRA accounts with access to the Weeble Smart Advisor feature and State Street's Asset Allocation ETF as portfolio strategy for an easy do-it-for-me approach to retirement investing. You'll start with a quick risk assessment for your goals and tolerance for risk, fund your account, and then choose one of the portfolios customized for your needs for returns and risk. You'll earn 5% on your contributions with cash management with no fees and your account is SBIC insured. With the power of compounding, you're going to be able to see how fast your money can grow with this cash management tool. So whether you need to roll over an old 401k, another IRA, or just finally take advantage of the tax benefits with retirement investing, I'm going to leave a link to Weeble in the description below for more information. Make sure you check that out. Our next option strategy, the collar option strategy, is perfect for a stock that you want to own, but you're worried that it could crash in the near term and wanted to reduce that risk. It's more protection than a covered call, one of my other favorite strategies, because it totally reduces your risk below a certain stock price. You can see here in the graph, I make money if the stock price rises, but if it falls, my losses are capped at a certain point. In fact, the stock can fall to zero and I only lose a limited amount. Of course, the upside is capped as well, but that's just the price you pay for that extra downside protection. We're going to walk through an example, but you set this one up by buying the stock, of course. And remember, you need to buy at least 100 shares for each option since option contracts are in 100 share blocks. But then you sell a call option and buy a put option. We're going to use this strategy on shares of ChargePoint Holdings, ticker CHPT, a stock I really like, but the sell-off this year has been brutal and who knows what next year brings. So I want to limit my downside risk a little bit more than I would with other stocks. We can go here to the options. And since we need both call and put options, I'm going to show each on the screen here. Now I'm using the January 2025 options. So just over a year left on these options. And we can see here, we can sell the $2.50 strike call option, collect 84 cents each. Now I'll go to the midpoint here since it's a bid and ask price for the explanation and I can buy the $2 put options for 77 cents each. So again, remember I'm selling the call options, selling the call options for 84 cents each. I'm collecting the 70 or I'm buying the put options for 77 cents each. So here again, I'm actually collecting more money than I'm paying. I'm collecting that 84 cents a share for the call options, paying out 77 cents a share for the puts, a net credit of 0.07 cents. So each and buying a stock for two and a quarter dollars, two two dollars and twenty five cents a share here. And if we look at the payoff screen, we can see how this works to limit my risk. I spent two hundred and twenty five dollars to buy those hundred shares. I collected eighty four dollars selling the one call contract worth a hundred shares here, and then spent seventy seven dollars to buy that one put contract. So it really cost me about two hundred and eighteen dollars, and I can lose no more than eighteen dollars. And that's even if charge point goes to zero. You can see here at any point under $2 a share where, where I've bought those puts, that gives me the right to sell the shares at that price, at $2 a share. At any point under that, I can sell them for $2 a share so I don't have to worry about losing any more money past that point. If the stock does rise over the next year, I can make as much as $32 or, or almost 15% on that position. Now, again, that upside is capped, but you can play around with different options here to really leave a little bit more return potential, and it's still a good price to pay for totally limiting your downside. Now, we'll get back to that last strategy, but whether you're an options beginner, a trading expert, or whether you use one of these option strategies, there are three rules that every options investor must remember. And first is just don't think of options only as a way to boost your returns. Yes, trades like our, our call spread on the dollar fund showed that options can leverage your returns up into triple 
digits in months. But some of these best option tools are, are used to reduce your risk and even produce cash flow. Rule number two, practice opportunistic profit taking. I've shown you the potential upside return in these three options or in these option strategies. But one of the biggest questions I get with options investing is, you know, do I let it run until expiration or close out the trade early? While it might seem obvious to let a profitable strategy run out and get that full potential return, I've just had too many of these option trades that were solidly profitable and then ruined before expiration. Now, as a general rule, any option trade that I can book a, a close and book more than 55% of that expected return, I'm taking that money, I'm taking it and running to the next trade. Next here, and we'll get to that last option strategy, but always use an options calculator to test out different strategies and scenarios. Really think through the different outcomes before you make this trade, because once you do, you're pretty much locked into that. We've still got that one more option strategy to highlight, one that's going to help you get your money back on a losing stock. But don't miss the video here for that options trading basics and five more of my favorite strategies. The stock repair strategy is the ultimate do-over for investors. This simple options trade is going to allow you to make your money back in a stock, get back to even or even above that and get out. It's going to slowly reduce your break-even cost in the stock, so you get to that break-even even if the stock doesn't recover. Here you start out by owning the shares. So say you you bought 100 shares and the price dropped. With that strategy, you buy an out of the at the money call option, so a call option close to the current strike price, and then sell two options with a strike price above the stock price. So for this example, let's say we bought 100 shares of Advanced Auto Parts for $65 each, and the price falls to where it is now, just under about $56 each. You're now down $9 a share, or about $900 total on those 100 shares, and you're kicking yourself for listening to some bald-headed, bow-tied weirdo. You lost your faith in the stock, and you just want to make your money back and get out. Now, now, remember, this is purely an example, and any resemblance to real life is purely coincidental. Okay, at this point of recording this video, I am down 8% on my AAP with a cost basis of $61 a share, but I'm still thinking in the long term, I like this stock long term. I am using the covered call strategy to reduce my risk and am willing to stick around. But let's say you just want out. You want to make your money back and get out of this stock. You look at these June 2024 options about seven months months out, but you can really use these on any monthly options as well. Here you can see you can buy the $55 strike call option for about $9.75 each. That's right in between the bid and the ask price here. Then we're going to sell two of the $60 strike call options for $7.55 each, or about $15.10 total. So think about this. Think about what you're doing here. You're collecting $7.55 times two contracts worth 200 shares for $1,510. Then you're paying out the $975 for that one call option worth 100 shares. You're going to collect a net $535, which helps lower your original investment that you paid on the stock. Now, this is probably the most confusing strategy, but think through it because this is one of the most powerful for getting your money back in a share that you've lost money. You still own those 100 shares along with the call option to buy another 100 shares at $55 each. Against these, you've sold another investor to the right to buy all 200 shares, the 100 shares you bought and the call option for 100 shares, bought from, from you for $60 each. So if the stock price goes to $60 and that other investor is going to buy the 100 shares you own plus the 100 shares that you've got in that call option and you're out completely. At that point, you've made $535 or about an 8% return on your original $6,500 investment that you invested in those 100 shares of AAP. But the beauty of this is it progressively lowers your cost basis, so you eventually get out of the stock even if it doesn't go up. Let's say AAP doesn't make it to that $60 a share. You still keep the $535 you collected by selling the call option. So, so that's going to lower your cost basis on the stock down from, from $65 down to about $59.65 a share. That's your new break-even price. And you can repeat this strategy month after month or over every few months, buying one call, selling the two call options to further lower your break-even each time. If the stock price closes above the strike price and you, that you purchased the call option, so that $55 share this, uh, in this example, you're going to sell it for a profit, lower your investment in the shares even more. So you see, it's just a great way to, to move yourself back to even to, to in that losing stock, even if it goes nowhere. You're given a little bit of an upside return to lower your cost basis and, and get you further closer to that break even faster. If you've stuck around to this point, congratulations, you're my type of people. Don't expect to get these strategies down the first time. Just don't give up. You can see how powerful these option trading strategies are. Stick with it. 
Think through them. Think about what you're doing in each one and you will make money. Get the power of IRA investing and a cash bonus up to $18,000 when you open a retirement account on Webull with the link below or click on the video to the right for the option trading basics and five more strategies. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.